What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today in this video, I will show you guys how to do a mid taper with the three all the way around. Now the clipper I'm gonna be using on today's haircut is the Gamma X Ergo Clipper. Gamma was nice enough to hook me up with a pair of these. And to be honest, they have sent me their previous models and I could tell you guys right out the back, these are definitely a lot stronger than the previous models and my client has some super thick hair and as you guys can see the clipper is just going through his hair like a lawnmower like it's just it's just chopping away making it super smooth and and comfortable for my client another thing i also really do like about this clipper is that they actually switched the blade that it comes with the other ones uh, i i believe they came with the fade blade which I wasn't a really a big fan of it because I found that every time I would do like a fade, it would it would always tend to snag on my client's skin. So with this one using the regular taper blade, I actually like it a lot better just because it's a lot smoother and it almost reminds me of the senior blade. So once again, I am doing a number three on top. I'm just going in in every single direction just to make sure everything is all even on top. And whenever you guys are doing like an all even type of cut like how I'm doing right now, it's very important that you literally make it all even, making sure that there is no little hair sticking up because once your client goes home and takes a shower and he sees those little hair sticking up, he won't really be too happy about that. so now to go ahead and begin and start with the taper i'm going to be using my trimmers which are the babyless pro skeleton fx's and for my guideline i'm going to be starting off at the top of the ear and making sure that i'm leaving um, the side area nice and dark that way when i go in to line up the hook it'll look real crispy so now for the next step i'm using my andis profile shaver just to make sure that the taper part is real nice and bold So now I'm switching back over to the Gamma Clipper, starting with the lever all the way open. I'm gonna go ahead and create a guideline by going up about an inch. And what I did notice about this clipper is when I went ahead and tried to zero gap the actual blade, it was actually kind of difficult and I actually didn't get it super, super close. But then again, I kind of rushed it because I had a client there and I didn't really have that much time to go ahead and play with it. So, so now at this step, I'm going to go ahead and start to work out the bottom line, starting with the lever all the way close. And I'm actually going to be using every single notch that's on this clipper just to get the taper as detailed as I can for this step. As you guys can see i was left with the bottom line so what i did was i grabbed any trimmer it didn't really matter i was just gonna go in and kind of flick out the bottom line to blend it in so now i have the number one guard on the clipper and my lever is at the all the way closed position and i'm gonna go ahead and create a new guideline going up about half an inch and still making sure that I keep that same round shape as the previous step. Now here I'm opening the lever all the way up and I'm gonna continue to blend up, this time going up about quarter of an inch. Now here I have the zero guard attached to my clipper and I'm going to start with the lever all the way closed and I'm going to be slowly going up every time going up about quarter of an inch uh, working my way from the lever all the way closed to halfway and then all the way open 
and I am using the wall guard so the wall guards are going to be able to fit this clipper and the only reason why I'm not using the gamma guards is because when I was using it I found that their zero guard was way too close to the number one guard and it didn't really blend into the lever all the way open so so I kind of do wish gamma made their zero guard a little bit closer I would say going back doing a little bit of detail work before I move on to my next step uh, not really using a guard just using the corner of my blade and kind of playing with the lever So now moving on to my next guard which is the one and a half guard and this time I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the lever all the way open and I'm gonna go ahead and go up about half an inch and before I go in and close the lever all the way and knock out the bottom line. So now here I have the lever all the way closed and just doing like the little detail work, the little touch ups uh, to go ahead and finish off the side tape. Alright, so now we're moving on to the neck taper and it's basically going to be the exact same thing as we did on the side, starting off with the trimmers to go ahead and set in the bald guideline. So now with no guard on my clipper and with the lever all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and create a guideline going up about an inch. And for the back taper, I do have a lot more room to work with than the side. So my guides, my steps are going to be a little bit bigger than the side taper. Now to blend out the bottom line, I'm going to be using every single notch that is on the clipper until I get to the lever all the way open. going back in with the trimmers just to go ahead and clean up any of the unnecessary line that's at the very bottom. Now here using the number one guard with the lever all the way closed, I'm going to go ahead and create a new guideline going up about half an inch. Now whenever I'm creating a new guideline, I definitely do not want to leave a hard line so it's very important that I'm flicking out, that way I'm leaving soft guidelines. So now here I'm opening up the lever all the way and I'm going up another quarter of an inch, I would say to half an inch, um, just making sure that I'm staying underneath that occipital bone in the back. So now to work out the bottom line, I have the zero guard attached to my clipper and starting off with the lever all the way closed, I'm going to be flicking up about quarter of an inch before I move to the lever halfway. Thank you. 
for the next step I have the number one and a half guard with the lever all the way open and this is basically like a number two guard close so it is going to blend into the number three guard that we did on top so yeah I'm just making sure that I'm flicking out that way there's that smooth transition So now for the lineup part, I always like to start off in the back area when I'm doing a taper and I'm going to start off at the very bottom of the neckline and then work my way up, uh, making sure that I'm cleaning up any of the hairs that's right there on the side. And it's very important that you leave this as natural as possible. Don't really want to dig in too much because the grow out process is going to look terrible if you do. So of course I wasn't going to leave these long hairs that he has on his neck so I'm going to be going in with the trimmers to go ahead and bald that out and then shortly right after I'm going to be using the shaver to make it real bald. So now moving on to the front hairline, I'm going to start off by doing the C-cup area first. And once again, I'm going to try to leave it as natural as possible, but making it crispy at the same time. And these, honestly, you guys, these are the best trimmers in my opinion at the moment. Babyliss really did their thing when creating this liner. I really don't think there's a better trimmer out there on the market. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below on which trimmer is the best hitting trimmer till this day but you know what i really find that this gold blade that i have on my trimmer hits a lot harder than the black blade that i have on my influencer one i don't know if it's just me but um i find that this gold blade is the way to go now don't get me wrong the influencer one the um, graphite blade if i'm not mistaken that one hits too but there's something about this gold one that is just so crispy like i could literally um, use it on any hair type any hair texture and it's just simply gonna cut without snagging without pulling it's just so smooth and so great Now I'm about to put you guys on some game. If you guys have not used these Gillette razors, you guys definitely have to give these a try. These are actually my new favorite razors to, to use when I'm doing any type of straight razoring. I used to use Astra razors, but these are just like a little bit better than Astra, I would say. If you guys have not tried them, go ahead and order them. The link will be down in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. Now to finish off the cut, I will be applying a little bit of pomade to his hair just to get it to lay down a little bit and also give it that nice shine. Now for this haircut, I did not use any type of enhancements on the cut, so 
I hope you guys enjoyed the natural look and I hope you guys enjoyed the taper tutorial. If you guys did, please do me that favor and hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave the comments in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, you guys. Thank you guys once again for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh,